I just found a really cool feature on this Ionic 5. So it turns out you have to hold this button longer. Watch. How cool is that? This is what the key fob looks like. Check out this white lettering. This kind of reminds me of a unibrow. What do you think? This is how much ground clearance you have. It's about 6 inches. Let's check out the center console so kind of like the early tesla model as you do have like a bridge or you know center console design which means you can go over to the passenger seat yeah so this is where your storage cubby is we might ask oh where's the wireless phone charging pad well it's located right over here truly great location for your phone so it doesn't slide around while you're accelerating 0 to 60 in this bad boy dual motor 4.4 seconds that's quicker than the model y without the acceleration boost 4.8 seconds well done hyundai i'm a big fan of how hyundai has used the physical air vents so yeah you do have a usb and a 12 volt here you can also move this forward and backward i like how you can also adjust the belts physical grab handle the sun visor also extends which is a great feature to have Watch this, dual lighting. Oh, actually the lighting is right over here. I prefer the lighting over here, actually. Of course, you have a dual panoramic sunroof. However, it doesn't open. Yeah, so this vehicle is extremely innovative. I mean, you have these dual 12.3 inch screens, which are actually mimicking Mercedes infotainment systems. I like how you can put like a sticky adhesive, maybe a credit card or some type of, you know, tiny item onto here. This head of display is extremely customizable. Drive mode selector. One of my favorite features of the Ionic is the sounds of nature. So you can go, okay, let me show you one more time. You can go from lively forest on the sailing ship, city I don't, experience the universe, rainy day, moment of meditation and warm fireplace. I really like the like the lively forest one. Which one is your favorite? So in order to get to your sounds of nature, you gotta go through media. You do have of course AM FM radio with series XM trial, like any new car. It does also have a valet mode, so kind of very cool. So yeah, this vehicle is, I assume, up to date, you know, it's extremely customizable. Oh, I also probably need to adjust it. The daylight saving time. Other than that, what do you think of the Ionic 5? I think it's one of the best EVs in this segment. Let's check out the back seat. The Bose audio system is fantastic. I wish Hyundai could use some wood trim. I mean, this trim is not bad, but this textile trim could feel a bit cheap. But for $60,000, I wish they could replace this with like imitation wood. This is not a power adjustable steering column. This controls your region, your light. This is what the turn signal situation looks like. So yeah, let's check on the back seat. That's where it's all about. So your, your air vents are located on the B pillar. You might be asking, well, how come I don't have heated rear seats? Well, that's one feature I wish this car had. You do have center cup holders right over here. Manual rear sun shades. I'm about five feet nine. I still have like four fingers of headroom left, accented light. And look. Legroom, I have a ton of legroom behind my sitting position. Two USB ports. I'm curious, they don't have a Type C, only a Type A, but you know, probably better for older Android users. You know, like if you have an older Android phone, this is a great feature to have. Overall, the fit and finish is spectacular. And let's sum, up, sum it up with the exterior design. So I think the exterior. Did I not close the door properly? Oh. I have to turn off the screen first. It is extremely, I will not say simplistic, but it's very intuitive, you know. 
I like how Hyundai did incorporate physical HVAC controls. I just wish they had a button, a physical button for your heated and cooled seat system. Other than that, it's a solid user interface. You know, if you're a first time Hyundai Kia Genesis user, this is a bit overwhelming. I totally understand. Like, it's truly a bit overwhelming. I think the updated system they use in the Santa Fe and the Sonata with the larger 12 inch display it is extremely more simple to use. It's much more simplified. So, yeah. It, I don't know, but I'm not a big fan of a two spoke steering wheel. Well, you'll probably get used to it. And I wish you could actually twist this dial like a Porsche, but you know, you get what you pay for. I'm a big fan of these tactile and solid the door handle sound. Look. Here it is. Pretty solid. Yeah, it has more of a traditional internal combustion engine interior, which some people may like, some people may dislike. And how do you know you have a limited? Just by this chrome trim and the 20 inch alloy wheels are truly a dead giveaway. This is where your front parking sensor is. What do you think of this unibrow design? I think I, I kind of like it actually, you know, and it might have, this car might have too much chrome for some people, but overall, I think this is the best trim to get because I'm a big fan of chrome. I'm not a big fan of piano black or uh, black appearance packages, but overall, this is truly a solid vehicle. Well done, Hyundai. Thanks for watching.